uh, Saturday afternoon. Uh, just kind of enjoying it, honestly. The uh, first few cuts with a new to me lathe that I rescued from the dumpster. Uh, I believe it was, it was 2019. It was the holidays, in between the holidays of 2019, so just pre COVID. Uh, there was a company in town that was moving out of town, and they were literally. This lathe was on the forks of a giant loader and it was going in the dumpster. Uh, this lathe here, that little radial drill, uh, that's that's a giant ilk drill index right there and some other stuff. And uh, somebody knew somebody to call me and me, me and a few of the guys that helped me out. Um, and I need to mention um, Kyle Langless, uh, Paul Mishu and Matt Kendron. Gary Tapscott, without those guys, uh, this thing would be history. And without those guys, um, this is the one we recently moved in here a few videos back. And we've been scrubbing furiously on it, Kyle and Paul and Matt and me. And uh, we took off tons of uh, old paint. You can see it's pretty raw right now. I kind of like the look, honestly. I think we're going to continue to. Uh, clear this down to bare metal. Uh, I'm, I'm just running a couple of cuts here just because I, before we get too far into it, I just want to make sure it's a workable, usable lathe. And uh, I gotta just watch what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna shut the feet off. I'm happy with it. Uh, this, is a, this is a Cincinnati tool lathe. And I have not found too much information about it anywhere. I, one reference to it on Vintage Machine Shop like the archives and uh, not much else and uh, there was a bunch of different companies called Cincinnati that were in Cincinnati and made lathes and I think that's part of the problem and this may be a cousin to the Cincinnati milling machine people but uh, you know not tons of information about it out there in radio land so anybody knows anything about a Cincinnati tool lathe uh, hit me up drop me a comment or call me up uh, this guy here is looks to be about 28 inch swing and I actually just measured it over the apron and it'll swing 18 inches fairly comfortably over the apron so that's cool good uh, I, it's good for me I, you know shaft work and stuff um, I think it's gonna be able to do eight feet between centers pretty easily number six taper got a steady rest as you can see there's all kinds of stuff in the apron we've been scrubbing and cleaning and scraping so this is running I, I think it's gonna be successful I'm encouraged and here's the horizontal boring mill it isn't uh, wired up yet in fact we get to get a motor mount together for this but uh, same thing we've been cleaning and cleaning and you know what they say about any horizontal surface there it is it attracts stuff like a magnet so uh, a shout out to the new battery powered tower light from Milwaukee. Yeah, I paid money for that and it was, it was a good get. So, uh, pretty happy on Saturday afternoon just to get this going. And uh, that chittering you hear in the background is the not so silent, silent chain. So, I'm gonna have to adjust on that, but uh, we'll get it. And uh, so, pretty happy with it all in all. So, uh, There'll probably be some more videos down the road of this thing actually actually doing real work.